Well, we've got John Barnes here with us again, talking Yellow City Comic Con. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing. How are you doing, Sheldon? Doing pretty good. good. So, I mean, nice. that's the thing. Is, so, gearing up, tomorrow's a big day. It's yes. kicking off. I mean, I feel like probably in your world right now, it's a little bit of a whirlwind. How are things going, kind of getting these final well, preparations underway? Yeah, you know, we call today, for us, we call today YC3 Year Zero, or Day okay. Zero, because we are literally today starting the whole process. We'll be at the convention center getting set up and, you know, getting it ready for our vendors to move in, doing the pipe and drape and the tables and the chairs and of getting course. the games just all that set up and then tomorrow all of our vendors move in so it's really busy we're really really excited and you know it's awesome yeah getting all those final preparations yeah. underway and everything getting ready for it so when do doors open tomorrow when can people start coming and just having you know yeah. having so, fun with yellow so Street con coming? the con starts tomorrow at five o'clock five to nine will be our hours on friday um uh, tickets are still on sale now they can buy them at the door uh, but we definitely encourage people to buy them online early just yeah. Of course, yeah. I mean, getting, yeah. you know, planning ahead of time. So, of course, you were talking, you know, getting vendors set up. Because that was one of the big things you kind of talked about us last time. Is, yeah. I mean, a lot of new vendors are going to be coming here. Yeah, yeah nearly right. half. Nearly half of our, our vendors this year are brand new to the convention. They may have been at other conventions in the area, but this is the first time they've come to, Am to, to YC3, to Amarillo. And, uh, and that's, we're really excited about that. Keeps things fresh, and our attendees um, get to see new products and, and interact with, with completely different businesses. It's really great. Yeah. And so from your perspective as a, as a you know, like I said, a Cone or Yellow City Comic Con, you said you've been doing this for several years now. I mean, what do you kind of see as the impact on Amarillo, getting all these vendors, getting all these people, you know, kind of converging in one place? What does that do for the community in your perspective? Uh, well, so we hope that uh, we, have a, we have a real, uh, you know, financial impact, number one. We think that of um, all of our attendees come, hopefully from out of town, they're using the hotels, they're buying food at, at local restaurants and, and shopping at the grocery store and really having a, a, an impact on the, the sales of the city. But we're also hoping to spread that openness and the, the love of cosplay and conventions and the fandom um, to a whole bunch of new people every every year. That's kind of what we're hoping for. So I think that's yeah. cool for sure. And speaking on fandom, so I want to ask you from, not from a business perspective, not as a co-owner of Yellow City Comic Con, but as a fan of Yellow City Comic Con, say you're going, what's like the one thing that you're just like, if you put everything else aside, what's like the one thing you got to go see if you're Me. going as a fan? So you if yourself, I'm going yeah. as a fan, I love cosplay. I, okay. I actually do it. So uh, I'm, I'm a member of several cosplay groups, official um, mm -hmm. worldwide cosplay organizations and I love cosplay I love going to see all the creativity and the the passion people put into these costumes that represent right. their fandoms you know they may be sci-fi fans or fantasy fans or whatever um, and then they they represent that they you know bottle that up and they bring it to the convention and they have a good time being the person that they were hoping to mm -hmm. that they they emulate in their show or whatever and it's I think that's just wonderful so that's my favorite thing so, right. yeah. sounds like a cool thing for sure so let people know you like said you can get those tickets advanced you can get them out the door are there any kind of specials any like passes for like the whole weekend i mean what can people expect in terms of like getting those tickets okay so if you go online right now you can get uh tickets online uh, uh single day pass for each day friday saturday sunday prices are a little different so five fifteen dollars on friday twenty dollars on saturday um, you can get a three-day pass for the whole weekend. It's $45 if you do it online at yellowcitycon.com. If you wait and get it at the door, we do charge uh, uh, $50 for those tickets. There's a $5 upcharge. Okay. Um, we're just, you know, we really encourage people to get online and do it online ahead right. of time. Um, yeah. All right. So tell us uh, one more time some of the big headliners, some of the, you know, the, the big celebrities that are going to be coming and doing it. Okay, so, so I, I can do this real quick, I hope. So if you're a big <laughs> fan of, of modern cartoons, we've got uh, voice actors from Steven Universe. We have Shelby Rabara and Dee Dee Magno Hall. They're fantastically talented. They voice Pearl and Peridot in that show. Uh, if you like sci-fi, sci uh, you've ever seen uh, Aliens, we've got uh, Mark Ralston and Jeanette Goldstein. They were um, Marines in Aliens, the sequel. Um, they've also done a whole bunch of other stuff. Mark was on Star Trek, Next Generation. Jeanette was on Terminator 2. They've done a whole bunch of other stuff. Then we have Kat, uh, uh, Kat Cressida, who is like Disney royalty. She's done a whole bunch of voice, uh, voice work for Disney. And then she was the, the ghost bride at both... Um, Disneyland and Disney World's Haunted Mansions, so okay. she's like the face of that ride. And then um, Sylvester McCoy and Sophie Aldred. Sylvester was the seventh Doctor in Doctor Who in the original run from 87 to 89. Sophie Aldred played his companion, Ace. Um, we're really excited to have all of those guests with us this weekend. So, right. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a jam-packed weekend for yeah, sure. For Thank sure. you for taking some time out of your busy Absolutely. preparations to come and talk to yeah. us. And saying Yellow City Comic Con starting tomorrow at 5 o'clock? Uh, yeah, 5, 5 p.m. tomorrow. 5 p.m. tomorrow. All right, Civic Center, you got to be there. It's going to be a good time for sure. But